As you guys can tell, I'm really bad at being consistent with favorites videos. To be honest, this video isn't very particular. It's not like your normal favorites video. It's just a bunch of things that I like that I just thought that I'd want to share with you that kind of fit into a favorites category. Some of these things I just started using like last week and some of these things I have been using for months and I just haven't had a chance to really sit down and talk about them and share them with you in a video. So that's what I plan on doing in this video run now. The first item is this new skincare line that I have been obsessed with. Also, it's just like so hot in here. This skincare product, like I was saying, is called Luminous Skincare. They are an all vegan, organic skincare line with non toxic and no synthetic ingredients used at all in any of their products. I'm very, very particular about what I put on my skin, which is probably what like most YouTubers, especially like vegan and holistic healthcare YouTubers are like. I just really believe that what you put on your skin is almost as important as what you put in your body because when you put stuff on your skin, it is absorbed into those pores and then into your blood. So the things that I put on my skin, I don't know, I'm just like really particular, especially um, with my face skin. My face isn't necessarily super sensitive to changing up products, but I can feel a big difference when my skin likes something and when it doesn't like something. It's all about like just listening to your body and your organs and stuff. And this product I really, really like. I have them all here in my lap. There's this hydration um, skin thing that I use as a normal moisturizer. And then this night skin butter is a, something that I use every night, like when I wash my face at night. I have this foot cream and I didn't think that I would actually use a foot cream because honestly like I never really use a foot cream but I will be honest with you I'm really blurry right now let's fix that um, every night I have been putting this on my feet before I go to sleep it's kind of a ritual because I shower right before I go to bed so I'm clean anyway it's like right when I get into bed I take a big little a big little, I get a scoop and then I just rub it in my hands and put it on my feet and then I just fall asleep and I wake up and my feet are just so nice and moisturized. Before this, I've neglected the moisture in my feet because my hands and feet tend to get really dry very easily and lately my feet have been very nice and uh, tender and moist. I should be paying more attention to my feet and giving it more TLC. So the fact that this is deeply moisturizing organic, there's no synthetics, no alcohols, no toxins. Something that I really love about this skin line is that their ingredients are so pure, so good. This rose water ton toner I use every day after I take a shower, wash my face, or if I just want a little spritz of a moisture, which is like right now. Oh, it just feels so nice and refreshing. And I just let it balance out the pH on my face and then I put on my moisturizer. I also have this delicate cleanser, which is real nice. It's soapy, but also nice and moisturizing for my face and this organic sunscreen. There's no specific SPF on it. It says there's no official SPF associated with red raspberry seed oil, but it provides an extremely effective 98% screen protection from UVA and UVB. And the main ingredients, like you can see it right here, it's just 100% virgin red raspberry seed oil, argan oil, kukui oil, and jojoba oil. All these types of oils that are just really good for your skin. I really just appreciate this. I just love natural type of home remedy things. Really been loving their stuff. I typically have dry skin, so the hydration and the night butter are perfect, especially the night butter because I sleep with a fan on since my family is Filipino and we don't believe in using the AC, so the fan's on. I know it dehydrates my face when I'm sleeping, and so the night skin butter is nice and thick when I put it on, but it also allows my face to breathe, and so in the morning, it's still nice and hydrated, but my pores aren't blocked, and I know this for a fact because when I use things like coconut oil, it clogs my and kind of irritates my skin so even a heavier moisturizer like this hasn't really clogged my pores or irritated my skin so I really like this never want to run out ever again luminous skincare I feel like I talked too much about them but a lot of you wanted to know about the skin products that I have been using or if I've been using any new ones and this is definitely it I've been using them for about a month and a half I want to say or maybe a month but I really like it since we are on the topic of beauty I want to share with you guys the one makeup product really that I have been using this whole summer and that is this lip um, moisturizer from Pacifica. It's a nourishing mineral lip shine and I don't have the box with me because I threw it away already. <laughs> this is the third one that I have so far. When I like something you guys, I really like it. So I just ordered this. I think I ordered this off iHerb. So you can check out the link in the description below. 
a lot of lip glosses, they make my skin do this weird like peely thingy when I have it on for too long or if I use it a lot, but this literally doubles sometimes as a lip balm. My lips are so moisturized and they just always feel so nice and plump, but also nice and presentable and shiny all the time. And it adds a nice little tint to my lips. So it's like I have a sun-kissed look every time. And this is actually Beach Kiss, the color that I use. And obviously because it's Pacifica, it is 100% vegan, cruelty-free. All of their stuff is always so good and it just smells really nice. Sometimes I put on this lip gloss and I'm like, hmm, my lips just smell so good. <laughs> and next kind of beauty thing is a jewelry line that I have really been loving for a while and you guys have probably seen me talk about it or snap about it or post it on Instagram since like February or March maybe but it's this jewelry line called Love Misa and it's just all vegan jewelry so this choker is actually from Love Misa it's a white stone with a vegan leather choker and they also have bracelets they have this chakra necklace that my roommate Arsh got that's just absolutely gorgeous and she took it with her when she went back home to NorCal for the summer kind of like sad because I wore it a lot when she was here because we just like borrowed each other's stuff. What I love about her stuff is that not only does she create jewelry to sell, but the jewelry line also gives back. And so the whole purpose of Love Misa is to spread veganism and spread love and kindness through like beauty products, jewelry products. Love Misa also gives away money every month to a foundation called Cure GM1 so that researchers and doctors can find a cure for this rare disease called gangliositis. You can learn more about gangliositis and Cure GM1 in the description below. Not only is it awesome jewelry at an affordable price that's ethical and like raises awareness to veganism, it's cute but it also gives back. So. That's what I've been loving and that's what I've been repping almost every day. If I'm not wearing this choker, then I'm wearing the lava bracelets. And I just put on some essential oils in there and I smell good. Lemongrass is my favorite if you guys wanted to know, but probably didn't want to know. My favorite that I want to talk about are these headphones. And I sound really quiet in my head, but I'm probably still pretty loud. Anyway, these are from Amazon. And you guys have probably seen me talk about it in my other videos and stuff. Maybe I mentioned it in another favorites video and totally forgot, but I'm just going to mention it right now because I'm still using them because I really love them. <laughs> At the gym, I just put them on and the surround sound, I don't know, over the ear headphones just sound so much better, like the audio wise, than little earbuds that go in your ear. And also, I don't really like the feeling of little things stuck in my ear for a really long time. I think that's the main reason why I wanted to use these in the first place, is because I was getting really paranoid about germs and like bacteria just accumulating in, the, in my ear canal, whereas this just goes over and when I want to clean it, I just do like a quick swipe with um, a nice natural clean. This is fake leather obviously because it's from Amazon <laughs> So it's not gonna be genuine leather. This was only like what $30 I think again I will leave the links to everything in the description below But this has definitely been a lifesaver not only as somebody who's very paranoid about bacteria and germs accumulating But also as somebody who doesn't really want to talk to many people at the gym So I just put these on and hopefully they make people think that I'm in my zone Which I normally am anyway because I just got to get in there and then get out but also, I added on like vegan stickers. So in case anybody, you know, wants to talk, they could talk about veganism because they'll know that I'm vegan obnoxiously. But you know, most people don't even see it. They just like come and then they don't even realize that I'm vegan. I'm like, bro, I got vegan stickers on my water bottle. I got vegan stickers on my, what are these called? Over the ear headphones. <laughs> this isn't about the stickers. This is about the headphones. And what I love actually about these headphones is that the audio is really good and it connects via Bluetooth on your phone and also to your computer. So it can connect to multiple devices at once which is very very helpful when I'm in a place where I need to be quiet and I'm using both my phone and my computer because I'll be like watching a YouTube video on my computer and then somebody sends me an audio message on my phone and I don't have to switch back and forth or like try to be quiet on either one because this connects to both and what else Oh yeah, when it connects to your phone, the audio on your end is really clear. I've had a lot of problems with other Bluetooth headsets in which I answer the phone and the audio going to the other person, so them hearing me is just like horrible. Like they can't hear what I'm saying. But when I use this to talk to somebody on the phone, it's clear on both ends and usually they can't even tell that I'm using headphones instead. The battery lasts pretty long, so I only have to charge it like once 
I only have to charge it about once every week or so if it decides to die on me if I'm at the gym Which is the worst thing ever because a workout without music. What is that? I'm just moving, but it's not really a workout You can connect it to this audio jack thing because it has these where is it? It's like right here and I am really bad at preparing things or I just always think that I can stretch out the battery for longer than it really can be stretched out for so I overestimate it and then it dies and I'm like oh no what do I do now just kidding because this can connect to your phone or your computer and then you got music and then just remember to charge it when you get home and you're set for your freaking life. Amazon, you guys, it's magic. This is the MPOW and it also comes in red. I don't know if there are any other colors now because I've had them for over six months, but uh, definitely check it out. Now, I'm gonna talk about this baby, which is a planner. Planners are very essential for planning out your life. I don't know if I could ever be successful or ever accomplish the things that I have done in my life without a planner. Last year, I had this passion planner, which is awesome, which I love, wonderful, obviously, because it's all beat up and I, I utilized every single page and it was falling apart and so I had to tape it because I still needed to use it before it even was done with the year. I didn't not get it again because I didn't like it, but I just wanted to explore my other options and I also wanted to see if there was a way that I could create my own planner. I was going to buy a bullet journal and kind of just create my own planner from that, which is something that I would still totally want to do in the future, but I found this. And by this, I mean I found the website called personalplanner.com. Again, link in the description below. You can create, design your own planner. Everybody operates differently. Everybody organizes things differently in their head. I'm really particular about how I want my layout of my planner to look. And so I wanted something that was familiar to me. So something that looked kind of like my old planner, but also with other things that I could mix and match and customize to my own. And so this planner is awesome. I was able to choose my cover. You can also like design your own cover if you want. I just really like this picture and I just wanted it to be something simple. I was able to choose the layout of my planner so I have it by week and then um, I have every day just have the time like from 6 a.m. every hour all the way until 11 p.m. So that way if I want I could plan things out for the day or their lines so I could just create little check off boxes and then underneath is also another area in which I could just create check off boxes so if I need to go to the grocery store, if I need to accomplish certain things throughout the day that don't really have a time frame then I could do that and then there's also a section on the bottom that says training where I could fill out you know what am I working out today am I working out upper body lower body working out the butt working out the guns you know basically you could personalize your own planner and it's really awesome so check out the link in the description below also comes with stickers because who doesn't love stickers so I've been using this since I started it which is since the beginning of August and you can choose you know when you want to start it January to January August to August July to July actually I don't know if you could do that but I know you can choose like January to January or like a school year and I chose school year because that's normally just how my internal clock works because school and I've just lived with school for like almost 16 years. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be my 16th year of school. How weird is that? My next item, these glass drinking straws. I did mention them in another vlog before, but I got these glass drinking straws from, I think it's called glassdrinkingstraws.com. You could check out the link in the description below. I just decided to use these because I had the metal ones before, but every time I, took the straw and put it like you know to my mouth and you know when you don't look at a straw sometimes and it hits your teeth or hits certain places in your mouth I always hit like my front teeth and I got very paranoid about my front teeth like chipping or something not good happening to them I stopped using the metal straws and I started looking for glass straws and this definitely hits my front teeth sometimes when I'm not paying attention or when it's five o'clock in the morning and I just woke up but it's a little bit more gentle and also I just think that they are way more aesthetically pleasing this one has a cute little design on it and there are a bunch of different designs that they have on their website every straw comes with a little cleaning um, thingamabobber that you could put inside a straw because honestly oh, you just cannot clean a smoothie out of this with a sponge and trust me I kind of tried to do it with a paper towel but that just doesn't work so you it comes with its own pipe cleaner that's what it's called and there are bent straws like this and there's also straight straws that's just what I've been using every day love it 
And finally, we are on to food because who doesn't love to talk about food? There are a lot of new food items that I have been loving lately, but a food item that is tried and true and that I've been eating consistently is this Gem Organics almond butter. I post about it quite often on my Instagram because I just love it so much. So this is a super berry almond butter and then this is a cinnamon maca. There's also a cardamom um, almond butter which is so good and they also have like a cashew or no like a hazelnut. Is it cashew hazelnut? Cashew hazelnut butter but I tried all the flavors. These two are my favorite so far. Um, but yeah they're just it's stone ground sprouted non-gmo kosher vegan obviously and it's just like so good like the consistency of this almond butter is amazing it just it i don't know if you can tell can i show you it's just so it's drizzleable because you know sometimes when you get like almond butter or even peanut butter it can't really drizzle it on top of your smoothie bowls or on top of oatmeal this stuff you can like just take a spoon and drizzle and it's all even it doesn't separate that easily and even if it does separate unlike a lot of other almond butters it's so easy to just reintegrate it into each other loving it on my toast with fruit that's my favorite and cacao nibs you guys already know that and my camera is dying so i'm going to get the charger now i feel like there's so many things that i wanted to mention in this favorites video i'm going to have such a blast putting all of the things in the description box and finding all the links and stuff but you know what i do this for you guys because i just i love to share the things that i like in hopes that you guys can relate to it or find stuff that you like from these favorites videos I guess because I know that when I watch other people's favorites videos I'm like wow maybe I should try that and then I try it and I'm like wow my quality of life is so much better because I started reading this book or started listening to this music the last two things that I really wanted to talk about are non physical things um, you guys always ask me about what podcasts I'm listening to or what audiobooks I'm listening to and last time I mentioned an audiobook so this time I want to mention a podcast that I have been incredibly and in, completely in love with sometimes I get tired of listening to music so I'll just put on a podcast everybody already knows about the Rich Roll podcast I don't need to talk about that and if you want to know more about it check out Rich Roll on podcasts but one podcast I'm absolutely loving is um, one of my friends actually and her name is Steph Yu. You guys probably already know her from Happy and Healthy 96 but she has her own podcast called A Beautiful Mess and it's just an amalgamation of all of her life experiences, her wisdoms, the things that she wants to share in life in a podcast and it's just I don't know, sometimes like I'll go on there and I'm like, oh, I don't really think I wanna listen to this because it's an interview with somebody. I just wanna listen to Steph talk, but I listen to the interview and I'm like, wow, I really feel like I was supposed to listen to this right now. There's always something that I could take from her podcasts and her podcasts talk about self-love and really just living life in a way that benefits your soul and your heart and following what makes you happy really growing with an attitude of gratitude and compassion not only for other people and other beings but also for yourself because i feel like that's what we collectively tend to forget like imagine if everybody had just loved themselves first how many mishaps and misfortunes in the world could be avoided if we really truly learned what it is and what it means to just love ourselves from the inside out and listening to Steph's podcast listening to her journey about you know her exercise addiction and her eating disorder and what she had to go through emotionally with her problems and how it's translated and she, how it's translated into her life now and how she's taken those weaknesses and those struggles and she's created community and ways to inspire and uplift other people um, on a spiritual level and I just think that's it's just it's gorgeous not physically but like spiritually she is such a beautiful person from the inside out you can really feel that and she's just so very articulate in her words and she's just so soft in her manner and just very friendly honestly anybody who meets Steph automatically loves her I mean I don't know one person who doesn't like Steph for a real reason I feel like I'm hyping her up more than her podcast but her podcast is awesome after listening to her podcast every single time I just feel like I love myself 10 times more and I'm constantly on this journey of radical self-love and so things like that are exactly what I need especially in my lower darker times or times of self you know self-loathing or self-pitying just always helps me feel 
so much better, so much more light and lifted. So definitely check out that podcast. And the last thing that I want to talk about is just music because I love listening to music as well. I know I said that sometimes I get tired of listening to music so I listen to podcasts, but sometimes I just want to jam out and sing. And so I've been listening to this album called Control by SZA, if you guys haven't been listening to it. That's pretty much the genre of music that I follow. And if you want to hear any of the music that I'm into, you want to kind of get a sense of the music that I like to listen to and the type of person that I am definitely check out the link to my Spotify playlist in the description below This album called Control by SZA is really awesome because I mean I have loved her as an artist for like almost four or five years She was featured in a lot of songs from artists that I already listened to but I never really sat down and listened to a whole one of her albums and then this one came out it has like has Love Galore on it with Travis Scott, Doves in the Wind with Kendrick Lamar, Pretty Little Birds with Isaiah Rashad. I don't know if you know any of those artists but I just love the features that she has in her songs and also she uses a lot of samples from other um, kind of newer songs they've been in the industry for a couple years but like Pretty Little Birds with Isaiah Rashad is a sample from Pretty I think it's Pretty Little Birds by Janae Aiko who's also one of my favorite artists of all time I just love her but I don't know I just love the way that she sings and I love singing along with her voice like you could feel the emotion and the hurt and the love that she expresses in her music and sometimes I listen to the album and I'm like dang girl you were really hurt and you did such a good job in conveying that. I hope that the things that I have been saying kind of made sense, that I haven't talked too much. If you're still here, you are a true one. So those are my favorites so far. They're just favorite items that I have and things that I really wanted to share with you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and that you try some of these things out or if you like them or already use them, let me know in the comments below. Again, everything will be in the description. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, noon, day or night wherever you are. And I will see ya next time. Goodbye. It's hot. Okay. Bye. <laughs>